My name's Jenny Ann Bishop. I'm a transsexual woman, and I came to live in North Wales in 2008 when I retired. I found there was not a lot of support for trans people. There was no fixed pathway. And when I went to register with the GP, it was clear that they were not aware of how to interact with trans people or where to direct us. So I decided to stay with my GP in England. That meant a risk in terms of my health treatments locally, but it was really important I got my gender reassignment treatments. It meant I did get through and had all the treatments and surgery I needed. A lot of people are not deliberately discriminatory, but I did find that people simply didn't know how to deal with trans people. With us, it's really easy. Just treat us like everybody else. Ask us our name and our pronouns. Make sure that we're allowed to use the facilities that are right for the gender we're living in, and to think about our health care from a trans standpoint. This situation said to me, things are not right. So our group Unique and other stakeholder groups lobbied the Welsh Government and NHS Wales to set up a proper gender identity care pathway in Wales. And that was implemented in 2012. Since then, we've also worked with the local health board, Betsy Cadwallader, and they've been really good at helping to implement the pathway in making sure people are properly trained. We've done lots of training, and they are now working with us on a new task and finish group to update the pathway and make it so that people are treated much closer to home rather than being sent to England. This makes a lot of sense in terms of reducing costs, making waits shorter, and also it makes it a lot easier for trans people. That's a real step forward and it means that not only does it cost our health service less, there are less problems, and it works well both for the staff and for us. So by working together, we really get it right for everybody. My name is Andrew Hinchliffe. I am a gay man. I am 68 years old. I've been in a partnership now for 32 years. And I'm talking to you today about Next of Kin. On December the 5th, 2005, which was the very day when civil partnerships were legal, I was repairing my house. I'd had a very stressful day. I had some chest pain, called in the doctor at the end of the day, and he said, I think you've had a heart attack. I was taken into Llandidno Hospital. 
and there I was on the trolley as I entered and the nurse appeared and said, who is your next of kin? So I said, my partner. And they said, who's your real next of kin? I was quite taken aback. I named a cousin who I knew would be sympathetic and who I knew would involve my partner. But I thought, this is wrong. The next day when I was in the ward and I was comfortable and a nurse came to do the rounds, I said that that was not acceptable. I should have been able to name the person that mattered most, who would have most to do with my care. I've worked for civil rights and gay rights for 30 years and I was quite upset by this. I was apologised to, but in some ways it was very, very unsettling to have that happen. I can't stress highly enough how important it is for the well-being of somebody in hospital, especially a lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender person, how important it is that you get to know that person, get to know who they are and who they want around them and who they want to help import, make important decisions. It's really important for their welfare that you know who they are and what they want during their care. The Health Board strategy is shaped by a number of principles, the first of which is that we will promote equality and human rights in everything we do. Listening to our service users talk about their experiences in the film helps us learn and better understand some of the issues faced by LGBT plus people accessing healthcare here in North Wales. Equality and human rights considerations are a key principle underpinning the Health Board's Living Healthier, Staying Well strategy and must inform all our practices as we respect people and their dignity and work together to improve health and well-being for everyone.